hi there and welcome back it's tanya from touch treasures hello um so we're in the middle of making these um edith holden um file folder uh journals with the envelope flip um do you call them envelope stack so we're going to put um the final piece onto the front and i was waiting uh for these envelopes so they're the they're the bigger ones but they're too wide so i need to um take some off i have got my dressing gown on because it's really cold um <clears throat> and i don't want to put the heating on until i finish filming because um you tend well with the filming lights and stuff tend to get quite hot um so i thought at least if I get, get hot, I can take um, this dressing gown off. But I feel rather clumpy <laughs> with it with it on. Um, so I might have to take it off and a bit cold. Okay, let me just take a little bit, a bit more off. I just want it um, the size of this. Yep. So <clears throat> that's going to be uh, the front bit. Let me just turn that volume off, sorry. Um, I've just been listening to, to videos while I was um, preparing. So I'm going to stick um, this onto the front and I'm just going to stick it there and cut it, cut it off there just for, just for ease. Um, I did use this image on uh, the inside cover of one of the um, journals but uh, not this one I've made sure that they've both got um, two different pictures for the fronts so I think the glue's gone a bit stiff because uh, it is it is really cold I don't know what, what the temperature is shall I ask Google? Hey Google, what's the temperature? I don't think she wants to listen. Hey Google, what's the temperature? Current temperature in Nottingham is 12 degrees. 12. 12 degrees. Sorry. Hmm, oh. something went wrong. Try again in a few seconds. Oh, they're all at it now. I'm surprised my phone hasn't um, spoke as well. I'm going to say that was um, from in the bedroom, the one that answered me. So that's going to be uh, the front, uh, which I will ink around <clears throat> in a minute. And I'm going to put on um, this as a closure. So I'll put it... I'm going to put a book plate on as well, so I don't know if to have the book plate at the bottom for that one. Yeah, I think in there. So I'm going to glue uh, this on, so this is just, um, you know, a punch. I think it's the uh, one inch punch, no, I think one and a half inch punch. And I've just punched out some cardboard um, to give it some some lift, and then that way the string has got somewhere to to go round. Okay, so just think around that. I've got my all. I'm just going to go through the middle and add brad. And I've got some lovely um, hemp string. Just gonna put it, put a knot in, and catch, catch that, and then put another knot in, and catch that. Somebody said that um, they couldn't hear me very well, and I always thought I'd got got um, a loud voice. Um, so sorry if I have been being quiet. I think um, when I had that flu and it just never seemed to go and I'd got a bad throat and this, that and the other, 
um i think it just took it took it out of me um so i think that's why i've perhaps been been quiet and um, so sorry about that um and hope that you was able to follow um the lap book tutorial so i've just poked a hole in and this side of the envelope is open because obviously we opened it up and i'm just gonna open those legs up and then i use my <clears> all <throat> just to push it push it down so that's going to be our closure and then the book plate i think that's about middle so i always just mark one and get that straight and then i do do the other one i just find that that easier so just put a brad in yep and again open those legs if i can get to them sometimes it's a bit tricky that's it i've got it so we'll just straighten straighten that up and then put the other brad in <coughs> And then if it's not exact straight, you can just, you know, you can you can move it slightly, especially when you're just going into um, paper. And open those up. Just check that that is straight. And then just give it a press, press down. And I've got a, a word, well, a book plate here what says notes on it so I'm just going to cut that down to to fit and these can be taken taken out so whoever um, buys it can put their own in and if they want to keep it in then they could uh, pop some glue behind there to keep it keep it in so that's that part done so now I'm going to run some glue down here because I, I don't want this as a as a pocket. Okay, let's press that, that down to seal seal that up, and then I'm going to put some of the um, text from. Uh, this is from the Nature Notes, um, Edith Holden. So it's um, different, different font and different coloured writing to the country uh, diary. I haven't got much of that uh, text left, and we've still got all the envelopes um, to cover. So I think I'll have used um, on the Edith Holden. Um, images when we finish this project so I think we've got it all the way around and I'm gonna just line that up uh, there just left a little gap you can see just a tiny tiny gap make sure that it's not hanging below Okay, and then I'm going to cut cut that off without cutting the string off. <laughs> That's the trick, without cutting it off. So just cut down that. Yep, come on. That's that. And then I can see that has come out. But what I'm going to do is just put a blob of glue and then another one can always be put um at the front front of it that will just save it <coughs> getting getting mislaid so i'm going to ink around here okay 
牌。don't really need to do this side because I'm going to be putting lace uh, down there so let's do this side all the way okay and then just do it that way to to bring the ink in a bit <clears throat> okay so that is the front part and that is going to get stuck to here so we need to make sure that um, that's the right way and the flap here is going to go um, at the back here okay and I'm going to measure it up uh, against the, the bottom so just put glue on this flap I could cut this flap uh, down because I don't need all this flap but it's not thick so it doesn't really it doesn't really matter what was that oh the pin for the glue so just open it, make sure that um, it's straight in here, which it wasn't. And then I'll open it all up and give it a good, a good rub. Okay, and I've got a book plate here, which I'm going to put on this um which was kind of the original cover, um, the bottom. So I'm just going to poke that there, not poke it, uh, put it there, because um, the this is stuck onto it and it's it's left a bit of a mark. But um, I've put labels on all of them anyway. Um, I just wanted to make sure that I'd covered covered that up. Okay, so. That's that. Let's have a look if it's straight. Do it just coming down a little bit. Right, I don't need that anymore. So that goes like so. Okay. Okay, so that's all um, stuck and we're going to stick this on to the front of here. So I'm going to put glue on this bit. So I'll do it with the clow and then go around the edges with the art glitter. Because we've got the stitching round as well. So I want to get some of the glue into the stitching. Okay, and then I'll just go round the edge with the art glitter. Cut down here. Like so. Yep. Down here and then down here. And I'm going to <coughs> line this side up with this um line because that's my uh, spine so that's lined up and rub down okay make sure that it's not hanging um, down which it isn't fine so that's that bit and then I'm going to put um, 
glue down the spine. Now I could have sewn my signature in first and then put the um, lace on but um, I'm going to use cream um, wax thread anyway so you won't really see it. is the right way and this is tea stained um, lace and I'm just gonna line it up cut it just a little bit bigger straighten it out Okay, and then I'm just going to run another strip just under that scallopy, scallopy bit, like so, and then I will cut that off straight-ish. Come on, that's it, and the bottom one like that. I'm going to leave that uh, to dry a minute before um, I close it. I might want a little bit more glue. So we shall leave that like that um, and I shall show you the other ones <coughs> that I've done. Yep. So I've got those two and those two that one so that's our six so they look very nice okay let's have a look at that and then that will just go around and then can put it around a couple of times And I'll cut that off okay so that's as covers <coughs> um, done so next I want to start covering the envelopes inside so all these are inked <coughs> and I think I might do that one the tall one first because I'm thinking um, well that one would possibly be a good one depending where the bird falls yeah that's nice but then as you can see it only comes to to there and um, so <coughs> I might put then a piece of uh, writing there or I could have it going that way and have some writing there so if you've got because <coughs> this is going to be the first envelope so I think I want the picture um, on the front so I'm going to get rid of this rough um, edge So, needs to come down a little bit. Let's see if I get the pencil and mark it there. Just get the trimmer. Using the gathered twigs, it's a nice 
um, brown. It's not too, not too dark. Okay, so I'm thinking I might stick that down first before um, tucking it over. So I'm just going to make sure that these uh, are linked. Okay. And I'm going to do it to the envelope, not to, to the end, because obviously we want it to open and close. Let's see if Annie's coming out. I think I'm ready to fill, fill my glue up again. It seemed two minutes ago. I think when you're matting things, um, you do get through through an awful lot of glue. So I'm going to put that on and then I'm just going to go down this edge because obviously I want it to stick nicely on the edge. And I'm going to go down that edge. Okay. <coughs> And I'm going to line that up like so. Just moving it around just to get it straight. Okay. Oh yeah, I can't bring it round, can I? Because that, <laughs> that opens. But what I can do <coughs> is hopefully take it off and not damage it. Because obviously the glue is still, still wet. Just ink it down there. Now this side I'm going to have to be careful because obviously <clears throat> we need a panel going there but we don't want to stick it down so that um, the tag doesn't move. So let me get some tags. Now I've still got some of the index pages. Get this straight first. right at the end I'd have that because obviously I need to stick um, it down so that one there that one there so if I tear it around there and then join join the two two together so that would be there let's get the height um, correct <clears throat> and shall ink 
down this side and the top and the bottom. And if we just pop that there, so that would want glue in there, and that about there. So I think, yep, yeah, I shall put a strip of glue down this side and get those joined together. Something, something like that. Let's check. Yeah, I think that would be fine. Okay, just gonna ink down this one. And I'm gonna take, take that card out and I'm gonna put some glue. Try and keep in. And then I'm going to go round. I don't know the need down, down that side. Round here. And I'm going to put it around here. Okay, and we'll pop that down. Make sure that it closes okay. Make sure it's not hanging over. Okay, so that is the first one. Lovely. Let's check if this goes in. Okay. I think that one is gluing down. I've just done what is there. be fine I'll take it out for for now though okay <coughs> so that's that one and then that will open to there and then it should be that one next so I probably want something either writing or something small now there's not a lot of small images <clears throat> so i'm going to put tags and i'm going to do it going that way like yeah that would be fine I hope I don't keep putting my head in front it's a bit hard to hard to tell <coughs> so we'll ink around this one is this is a top yeah that's a top load and one 
So I think I'll put the plain bit at the, at the bottom and I'll just use the, the clout. That's kind of perfect, perfect size. Is this? Could be, couldn't it? I think I might decorate those after, you know, and have a session of just decorating. Um, and then you can get more, more bits out. So we'll do that. And then I would like a picture on this one. So... Well, that might be. Has this one got an apple one already? No. So I'll do this one. And I'm going to take it from the bottom. So I'll take it there. In fact, I'll take it from from the bottom. And then to there. That's better. Saves having that blank blank bit at the bottom. Once a bit more off that side and a little bit more <clears throat> off the bottom. So I shall take a bit off this side because this is the, the blanker side. Yeah, a touch more. From the bottom. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, that will that will do me. And we'll walk down there. loading yeah and then this one I will want as tags so will this fat yeah okay do 
about that. That's what I'll do. Let me trim up. probably do some collage on these as well um, which makes, made me say about decorating them another time um, so I need to get some different papers papers out Should probably get some music paper out um, maybe some of the green decorating paper um, maybe some brown paper or brown tissue and then the Edith Alden images. Let's just pop that up a little bit. And then we've got that as the, um, yeah, so <clears throat> that goes goes in order nice. So the back of that's going to be a picture, if I can find one um, as small as, as that. I mean, I could do a half and half. I don't want the apples with the with the apples. If that bit would be would be good. Let's, let's take that off there and there. Just wants a touch, a touch more on, off, not on, off. So let's take it from that. to be careful because of the card this card's quite a bit smaller so I shall leave it in while I do it and I can see uh, where it comes to Okay, now this needs to be plain uh, text, sorry. Right, these are all pictures. Let's just 
leftover fizzle index. Yeah, we can use index. Okay, so I'm going to tear down where there's no um, letters. It's going to, I'll have to straighten it up on the trimmer to be fine. I can say just get a rough, a rough idea. Take that blank bit off the top. And if we go under there, okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to pop those in my um, thing in the jig, you know, <laughs> scraps and that one. Right, let's have a look at this. So definitely need some, some off the bottom. <clears throat> Oh dear, it's a little bit short, but it doesn't it doesn't matter. I can always put some tape on, and let's straighten this up. Yeah, just a little bit more off this side. What's that like? Yep, and say so when I decorate, I'll put um, a strip of washi uh, just to cover cover where I've gone gone too short, but I've not really got a lot of paper to to waste, so I can't um, really just use use another one. So I'll take take that out for now, and so we're all a line yep down here then on here and on here yep down there and I'll go go low because I know that I've gone uh, too low and once I've got it in I can just put my nib um, to catch anything that I've not not caught I best check the time and see see how long we've we've been because I don't feel like we've been very long but the time could have absolutely flown bit hard to tell when you're doing uh, things like like this. Could perhaps put some ribbon across the top of of that one. So that's that. This one's going to want a, a picture. So let me check the timer. Oh yes, I think I'm going to have to say uh, goodbye. So um, I'm going to put a picture one on there. I'll do all the rest um, and then we'll come back and we'll we'll decorate um, them and um, yeah then we've got the journal cards inside um, to do and um, yeah I'm a bit lost <laughs> where am I I don't know yeah that's it okay <laughs> Okay. So yeah, that's going to look lovely. Right, I shall see you tomorrow. Thank you very much for joining me and bye.